Weather did cause headaches on the roads all over the Portland metro area this morning. And some of the worst slowdowns were on Highway 26. That's where our Trevor Alt is right now with an update on how they're dealing with those roads out there. Trevor. Hey, good afternoon, Ken and Jenny. I'm right off the Sylvan Avenue exit. The sun is out now. It's warming up a little bit. That's helping with the conditions, but there's still some residual slowdowns. Want to show you over my shoulder, particularly eastbound traffic, not necessarily out of the ordinary for traffic to slow as drivers approach the tunnel. But what's interesting this morning, it really hasn't had any clearing. It's been like this throughout the entirety of the day so far. Now, from what I'm told from the Oregon Department of Transportation, the accumulation on the highways wasn't enough to bring in the snow plow but they still had lots of crews very busy trying to minimize the effects of this weather. A Southeast Portland driver learned the hard way this morning that winter isn't through with us just yet. She lost control on Southeast Foster and slid into this power pole. And on the highways, a massive backup on 26. A semi crashed into the Jersey barrier at Cedar Hills Boulevard, forcing ODOT to shut down every eastbound lane. It was a major hassle for commuters, but something almost bound to happen in this weather. We're going to see these cold and possibly damp conditions all week. ODOT spokeswoman Kimberly Dinwiddie tells me they had 15 de-icer vehicles out overnight. Our crews were out all night spraying de-icers, laying down sand, and at times rock salt. Those crews will keep working 24 hours for the next several days, trying to get the current road conditions back to normal and to prevent incoming weather from doing more damage. Anything that is wet on the ground overnight tonight is going to be frozen tomorrow. So even though we're starting to see some of the roadways drying up, travelers should still expect for some slick spots Tuesday morning. And that warning you just heard from ODOT spokeswoman Kimberly Dinwiddie is certainly an indication tomorrow could be more of the same. But she also told me that ODOT is particularly concerned about Wednesday morning's commute because of some more inclement weather that we're expecting. Our meteorologist Claire Anderson is going to have that in her full forecast. And of course, we'll have continued team coverage of all of this weather throughout the rest of the week. Reporting live in southwest Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News. Yeah.